Welcome to Xara Template Tutorials for the Xara Web Designer 365 Premium Software. This is lesson number five, and in this lesson, I'm going to be showing you some new enhancements that were made to buttons that have a mouse off and a mouse over state. And basically, those new enhancements are the ability to change the font type or the font size and have those changes reflected on both the mouse off and mouse over state. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have a blank new document open, and if you do, let's go ahead and move forward with this tutorial I'm not going to actually explain to you how to create a mouse off and mouse over state instead I'm going to leave a link in the show more description beneath this video in case you're not familiar with how to create a button with the mouse off and mouse over state and it'll walk you through that process however I am going to build it manually in this video but the process will not be explained so keep that in mind but once we get past that I'll actually let you know when we get to the part of showing you the new enhancements. So let's go ahead and go to our toolbar and we're going to create a rectangle. And I'm going to actually select the mouse off state in my uh, page and layer gallery. And then once we're on the mouse off state, let's go ahead and draw a rectangle. And then I'm going to go back to my toolbar and select the text tool. And then I'm going to go ahead and create some text. In this case, I'll write the word button. And then I'm going to highlight that text and change the font size to maybe a 32 and then once we have a decent button there I'm going to go ahead and drag and select over both the button and the text and then I'm going to hit control shift L bring up the alignment dialog and I have both already set to align centrally so I'm going to go ahead and hit the apply key and that's going to ensure that both the button and the text are aligned perfectly in this case I had it pretty close so there wasn't any noticeable difference so I'm going to close that dialog then I'm going to select over this and hit Control G to group that as one object. Select the, the button again, hit Control C to copy it. Then I'm going to click on the mouse over state and I'm going to unhide that by clicking on the red eye. Then hit Control Shift V to paste the copy on top. Then I'm going to double left click on the background for the over for the mouse over state button. And I'm going to hit Control E to bring up the color editor and I'm going to change it to a different color. Okay, so now we have two buttons with two different colors. If we go to our page and layer gallery, you'll see that on the mouse over state, it's blue or bluish green. And on the mouse off state, it's purely green. And so we have both a mouse off and a mouse over state. So now I'm going to go ahead and drag and select over both the mouse off and mouse over state button. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Control Alt G. And that's going to create a soft group. And now if we move these buttons, they both move together as one group. Okay. And if we go back to our mouse off and mouse over state, you'll see that in both cases, both buttons are still there. They just perfectly overlap each other. And now we're ready to go through showing the new enhancements. So now that we have these buttons created, uh, we're going to go ahead and double left click on one of the mouse states. And we're going to hit control A to select the text. And then we'll go to our drop down menu and we'll change the button text. Maybe we'll change it to... I don't know permanent marker maybe and hit the selection tool and if we go back to our page and layer gallery you can see that both on the mouse over and mouse off state that the button text is exactly the same okay whereas in the past if we tried to do that it would not change the font type okay so you no longer have to go in and manually change the the font type on the mouse off state if you made a change to the mouse over state because it's going to automatically make those changes on both states no matter which one you change okay so the next thing I want to show you is if you double left click on this text and hit control A to select it all and change the font size maybe we'll change it to 11 just to make it very noticeable if we go back to our page and layer gallery you'll see that on both the mouse off and mouse over state that the font size has changed so in other words you don't have to change that either on either state if you change it on one state it's going to automatically change it on the opposite state okay whereas in the past you would have to manually go in and make the exact same changes on the opposite state that you did not change so if this video was helpful don't forget to embed comment share and subscribe and stay tuned for future videos